What if I told you you can become a data analyst without experience or even a degree? Hey friends, Ian here. Today I'm going to walk you through just that, how I became a data analyst without experience or even a degree. And make sure you stick around to the end. I'll share a free gift to keep you on track no matter where you are in your journey to help you cross that finish line. So a little bit about myself. Before I became a data analyst, I was working in the printing industry. And no matter what position I worked my way up to, the pay was always capped at a rate that I wasn't comfortable with and I couldn't sustain in the long run. I knew I had to make a change, so I tried everything from screen printing to game development, you name it, until I came across Python, which opened the door to the data world. Like many others, I didn't know this was a career I could teach myself until I did some research and found out online I could learn all the necessary tools to become a data analyst. Not only that, I could learn these tools in my own time. I learned every tool I needed to land my first data job for under $50. Now compare that to your average four-year degree cost. These tools were Excel, SQL, and a BI tool, either Tableau or Power BI. I found highly rated courses on a website called Udemy for all of these tools. Udemy runs sales all the time, and I would grab one course at a time for like 95% off, which is insane. These courses taught me everything I needed to know and even had some really cool capstone projects. I'll throw a link in the description for the exact courses I took. Now after courses, I had to focus on my resume and doing that without having experience is very difficult to do. Even if I use Excel a handful of times over a course of three years, I still wanted to quantify my outcomes of what I did for my coworkers. Now if you have absolutely zero experience with any of these tools that you learned, you're gonna to wanna to put your projects above your work history in your resume. So that's the first thing they see when they're looking at your resume. So this will highlight all your relevant experience in the tools that you're hopefully matching towards the job description. And in my project section, I would use the tools I use and how I use them to develop my projects. And speaking of projects, I would recommend doing three to five projects in your portfolio and listing in detail three of them right on your resume and the projects not on your resume, you're gonna to wanna to host them on a portfolio website. And the place I highly recommend is Maven Analytics Showcase. And let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So first we're gonna head over to mavenanalytics.io. And once you're on their homepage, you can click up here on Showcase, which will take you to where you need to be to create a portfolio. Of course, you'll need to sign up for a free account before you can start one, but this will give you your link to your own portfolio. For example, let's take a look at this featured one. This is a particular project that Karen created, and you can see she used Power BI for the tool for this project. And here is an embedded Power BI dashboard she created. And you can easily go through each page she has. And the best part about this portfolio site is you can explain how you did your project. So in this instance, she gave a little description. She said what data set she used, some key assumptions. So she highlighted the areas of questions that she focused around building this portfolio project. And she goes in a little bit more explanation of the dashboard itself to give you sort of a walkthrough feel so you know what you should be looking at and how to interpret things and stuff like that. And why I'm showing you this is that this would be a better alternative than just using, say, a Tableau public landing page as your portfolio site. This can give your hiring manager better insights on you as an analyst and how you uncovered these insights. Of course, it's not limited to Power BI. You can throw an Excel project in here and do the same thing as put a screenshot and give more detail about your Excel dashboard. And those are really the main areas I wanted to cover of why I recommend Maven Analytics Showcase. It's just because it looks clean. It's very, it could be very well put together and it's free. So anyone can start one today. And of course, I'll put a link in the description so you could go check it out and sign up yourself and start creating. Now the hardest part of all, the applying stage. Applying to jobs take up just as much, if not more time than it takes to learn all the tools you need to become a data analyst. When I first started, I would blast my resume to easy applies and prayed that I'd get a response. 
but I'm going to show you an even better way without using the job board that helped me land my last two data positions. Go ahead and log on to LinkedIn and in the toolbar search hiring data analyst. And what you're going to want to do is click posts, sort by latest, show results. And what we're looking for are people that are hiring for data positions or data analytics roles that you're looking for. And now we're going to try to find real people who are hiring on their team. Now be cautious, there's going to be a lot of spam in these posts. So hopefully you can see those and move right along. So what we're looking for is someone who looks like a real person and doesn't spam a whole bunch of hashtags. So take Lauren, for instance, this looks like a real person trying to hire someone. She's not spamming you with a whole bunch of hashtags and she's just saying her marketing team is hiring. Now you can easily see this is not a remote position, but if you're in that area, this would be your chance to not only apply for this position, but reach out to Lauren herself and ask her more about the position in detail or if you can hop on a call with her and discuss the role. Another good example would be right here, Brian. Amplify is hiring a data analyst manager. Now this would be something I'd be interested in because it doesn't have a location attached to it. So I would look at this more deeply and see if it's a remote position. And that's really it. You'll have to do this throughout the day since you won't know when someone posts. So the more you look, the better chances you get at finding those people. Landing the first job is honestly the hardest one, but with some consistency, your time will come. Okay, I promised you a free gift. Now here is a data analyst checklist. So no matter where you are in your journey, you can go ahead and use this checklist and start marking stuff off and help you keep on track. As you can see, it's just a Google Sheet, which I put in the description below. You could just make a copy yourself. And this checklist couldn't be any easier. All you have to do is check off the areas you've completed, and you'll know what areas you still need to complete. I didn't want to make anything too complicated, just something to keep you on track and keep you focused, because if you start to sway off track, it's going to take you even longer to become a data analyst, and that's not what we want. To sum it all up, I took a handful of courses, redid my resume, did a few projects, and started cold applying. But I really hope that strategy I showed you on LinkedIn to just search for the people who are actually hiring helps you out. And I'll go into more detail about how to prepare for interviews in another video. Until then, I'll see you next time.